Hello everyone, this video is about the historical background, archetypes, and imperial family relationships of the drama Love Lex like Galaxy. They also mentioned the historical archetypes in her writing notes in the novel, so I researched historical records and found that most settings follow the history. This drama is set in the early stage of the East Han dynasty. The historical archetype of the Emperor Wen in the drama is Emperor Guangwu, the first emperor in Eastern Han dynasty, named Liu Xiu. He is the next generation of Emperor Gaozu of West Han, Liu Bang. But about 200 years had already passed after the foundation of West Han dynasty. Many descendants of the clan Liu lost great power and rich property. It was the same situation as Liu Xiu's clan. His father was only a county magistrate. When his father died, Liu Xiu was only 9 years old. His uncle adopted him along with his brothers and sisters. In 980, Wang Mang seized the throne, ended the West Han Dynasty, and established the Xin Dynasty. This dynasty was very short, only 16 years. Many descendants of the clan Liu, nobles and officials during his reign rebelled. Liu Xiu was one of them. He took part in the rebellion with his brothers. The whole country was in chaos. In this background, Liu Xiu married Yin Li Hua, the historical archetype of Consort Yue in the drama. He first met Lady Yin about nine years before, when he was a student aged 20, by his sister's husband, who had clan relationships with Clan Yin. Lady Yin was an elegant and beautiful noble lady. The Yin clan's ancestor was Guan Zhong, a famous philosopher and a politician during the spring and autumn period, from 770 BCE. However, only three months after the wedding, he must go to a faraway place to join the war again. He had to leave his wife at home to keep her safe. Not long after that, Liu Xiu met the second woman in his life, Guo Shentong, the historical archetype of Empress Xuan in this drama. Because Lady Guo's maternal uncle Liu Yang had a large army with about 100,000 soldiers, and he highly appreciated the capability of Liu Xiu to strengthen the alignment Lady Guo's uncle arranged for her to marry Liu Xiu. By the way, her maternal uncle Liu Yang was the seventh generation of the Emperor Jin of West Han Dynasty called Liu Qi. Her mother and her maternal uncle were from Zhen Ding Royal Clan. This Zhen Ding Royal Clan was the archetype of the Qian An Royal Clan in the drama, so he had a dignified maternal background. Three years later, in 25 AD, Liu Xiu finally defeated his rivals with the help of Liu Yang. He became the emperor and founded the East Han Dynasty, 25-220 AD. The emperor planned to award his first love, Lady Yin, the empress title. However, Lady Yin hadn't yet had a son then. Declining the empress position and supporting Lady Guo, the most crucial reason was Lady Guo's maternal clan had a significant political influence, which can help to stabilize the country. So the emperor awarded Lady Guo empress and her eldest son, Crown Prince. This crown prince is also the archetype of the crown prince in the drama. In historical records, Empress Guo gave birth to six children, five princes and one princess. The only princess from the empress was the archetype of the fifth princess in the drama. The consort Yue gave birth to eight children in total, five princes, the number equal to the sons of the empress, and three princesses. Her eldest son was archetype of the third prince in the drama, who became the next emperor in history. Except for the ten sons of the empress and the consort, the fifth prince in the drama was from another lady Xu in history. So there were eleven sons in total. Except the four daughters, there was another daughter from an unknown lady. This daughter was the eldest princess. So five daughters in all. However, after fifteen years, in 41 AD, the emperor deposed Empress Guo and awarded consort Yue empress. The emperor claimed Empress Guo was no longer suitable for this position with so-called faults, but we don't know the real reason behind it. A lot of Chinese historians have different analyses and speculations. This novel's author gave her belief too. I won't spoil it here, the drama will tell you. I think it may be the most peaceful and acceptable one. Emperor Guo's ending was not bad. She was the only deposed empress in Chinese history who was not put into the cold palace. Her second son was awarded King of Zhongshan, and he was awarded Princess Dowager of Zhongshan. She can live with her son in his fifths. In addition, the emperor even promoted the clan Guo's official rank. Her elder brother was awarded a marquis. His son even married Emperor Ying's daughter. The emperor often visited his brother-in-law's home and granted gifts. 
the clan Guo became one of the most powerful clans in the dynasty. After years of the deposition event, the Crown Prince made a wise decision. He quitted the Crown Prince's position and asked to hand it over to the Emperor Ying's eldest son. After that, he was awarded King of Donghai. The Emperor gave this son 29 counties as fiefs to compensate him. By the way, the kings have lower status than the emperor in ancient China. They still belong to the empire and must follow the rules. In the English translation of historical dramas, the king is usually translated to lord. Reassuringly, the next emperor Liu Zhang was also a good emperor caring about people's well-being, like his father. The last historical information I'd like to add here is the social status of females. In Han Dynasty, this drama's background, Three Kingdoms period, Northern and Southern dynasties, Tang Dynasty, and part of Song Dynasty. Females have relatively higher social status compared to other dynasties. Many empress dowagers, empresses, and princesses took part in politics and held the powers. Especially in Tang Dynasty, the first and only female emperor in Chinese history named Wu Zetian appeared. In these dynasties, Remarriage and re-engagement were common and wouldn't be judged or criticized by the society. That's why Chen Shaoshang's mother remarried in the drama, and her third aunt re-engaged. In other dramas, they sometimes will change the setting of female social status for creation. So you might have doubts while watching this drama. Okay, I hope this video will help you to understand the drama better. Thank you for your support. See you next time.